Hello, Reagan here. So, finally getting around to doing this. Been putting it off forever. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be perfect. But at least I'm sharing it with you. And I'll polish it later. <laughs> These are stereoscopes. Victorian era stereoscopes. Which were basically little 3D viewers. There were two images side by side that were close to, close to each other. Um, anyway, but when you look through the thing, it makes it look like it's like 3D. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, I really decided that my dollhouse needed one. And then I started looking for one to purchase and I couldn't find one. So I decided to make one. And then I decided, well, if I really needed one, maybe everybody else needed one too. So I have this, um, available for free to any paid patrons and it's available on, uh, design space, cricket design space. Um, and I'll find some, like, if you go over and you join my patron as a free member, I will offer this as a free download over there too. Uh, I was just kind of playing around with the store. So it's like for $3, but I don't want to charge people $3 for it. I just want to offer it for free because it's not really a complete project. It is, but it isn't like with this tutorial, it's pretty free <laughs> or pretty complete, but yeah, anyway, but okay, I'll be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to the point. All right. So what I'm doing right here right now is I took a piece of clear like packaging and used a hole punch and hole punched a couple pieces so that I could use that for lenses. And then I glue those in place and a standard hole punch will, those pieces will fit perfectly in between the two layers without any issues. And then I'm layering um, it between two pieces of the craft paper eye pieces. Um, like I said, this is available in design space, but you can also download the template and the template has a square on it, which it represents an inch. And then you just have to make sure that, it, you know, that matches up and then you'll know that you're doing it at the right scale. Um, I use a Q-tip and clean up all the excess glue. Later on, I'm going to use a piece of this Q-tip to create the handle. Um, uh, the first one of these I made I got a little like bougie with it. I used some wire and made the photo holder and stretched myself stupid because it was really a struggle to do. And then I used a wooden um, cocktail stick to make the handle, which I do like, but it's just as easy to use something else. It's not that big of a deal. So you can be as elaborate as or as simple as you want to with this design. Um, all that I'm really giving you is the basic pattern uh, to do what you please with. Um, you could do different finishes on it. I'm thinking about doing a couple of them with uh, with leather on the eye, like the little hood piece that goes over the eye piece. Um, let's have some like decorative paper in really small print that I think would look cute. But anyway, uh, once again, I'm still just, uh, these are the eye pieces and I'm just using some regular old uh, craft glue and just stacking up all of the eye pieces on top of each other so that it's sturdy enough to hold up well. And then um, there you go. Also with the first one that I made, I used a UV resin for the uh, lenses, which works just as well. But, um, you know, this doing it this way is also recycling. So <laughs> either way, it's just fine. You don't even have to put lenses. It's a 112 scale. They're pretty small. It's not a big deal. I like options. I like to offer options. I like to have options. So, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, anyway, but there's the eyepiece. comes together pretty well. Once that's finished, um, this is the bottom piece that the eyepiece, uh, goes on one end of and the photograph goes on the other. At this point, if you were using a wire to create the little side pieces to hold the uh, stereograph image in, um, this would be the point where you'd want to glue it in between the two layers or leave the two the end that's the straight rectangle piece uh, unglued at the very end, so you'd be able to add it in, you know, at some point. I am not, so I'm just gluing it all together.
And once that's done, the eyepiece gets glued to the little half circle part. And placement kind of to your discretion. I put mine kind of not too far back, kind of like in the middle of where that little half circle is so that there's enough support there for the bottom of the eyepieces, but it's far back enough because you think of like if somebody was putting their face in it to look through it, you would want the cutout to be lined up kind of with the eyepiece so that, you know, your nose wouldn't get in the way. <laughs> And then once that's done, this long piece is the piece that goes over like a hood over the eyepiece section. Um, I did leave it kind of long. And the reason for that is because it's a lot easier to curl it and get it to take the proper shape with a little bit of length to it. And um, it just seemed to work out a little bit easier that way. If you glue it flat across the top of the eyepiece first and let that dry, which I'm terrible at doing, <laughs> uh, it'll actually work out and make it like once that's dry, it's a little easier to um, curve the sides around and glue them down. So at this point, um, <laughs> after treating it like a small airplane and doing all those things, if you glue the sides and curve them down, then you have the option, like I said, of trimming the ends of that long piece, um, which is a lot easier to get in place with it being too long. And then you can also um, uh, kind of shape the bottom however you'd like. If you want it like blunt across the bottom or if you want to give it kind of a curve. Uh, you know, have that, have that option, uh, to you. So then once that's done, uh, the two little nose bridge pieces that basically separate your eyes so that it's easier to focus on the two different images and, and it helps like make it look more 3D easier. Um, those, uh, those two pieces of that, you stack those together and glue them on in between. Uh, lengthwise, the long piece going along the middle and then the short piece that's flat butted up against the eyepiece.
Now I'm taking uh, the Q-tip that I used to clean the lenses and I'm cutting a little piece of it off. Um, probably about like half an inch, maybe less. And that's going to become the handle. I'm also going to take a little strip of printer paper and wrap it around one side so that it gives it more surface area to glue it onto the bottom so that it'll be more stable. I did uh, create some images in um, Photoshop. I took some of the images that I've taken, different landscapes and stuff like that, and sized them down. Actually, I ended up using InDesign because it worked much better. Uh, sized them down to where I needed them, and I will include that. It's a PDF, so uh, I'll have to convert it over to a regular image so that I can upload it to <laughs> Cricut's <laughs> design space. And, um, but I'll, sh I'll add that to the file there so that, um, it's accessible and, uh, I'll also be adding it over on, actually, I believe it is over on my Patreon in the listing for it. So that you have something that you can look at with your, well, I mean, you can't really like, they don't, <laughs> at that scale, it's not exactly functional for a full size person, but it's part of the, um, Yeah. Anyway, once the handle is dry, um, like I said before, you can now either put a piece of wire in the end or you can just fold up the end, uh, just fold the little rectangle piece at the end in half. And that will give a little slot in between. Uh, like I took the end of my scissors and kind of like worked it in there, but it'll give a little space to set the photograph in it so that it will hold and uh i mean it's up to you depends on like how you're displaying it or what you want to use it for you could put the image in there and glue it in place and leave it just like that or you know not glue it and leave it to where you can change them out i will be adding some like sepia toned images so that they fit more for the era i was just uh, uh testing out what it would look like to create the images it's not that hard um it's like a 0.4 by 0.6 inch size image and then you know like the actual like whole piece and then I just uh, took each one of my images and sized it down and put you know two on that size of 0.4 by 0.6 uh, inches and it, it turned out pretty good. I don't know at what point in my life that I reached a point where it's really hard for me to explain things to people. <laughs> my apologies for that. Um, if you have any questions or anything, please reach out to me. Let me know. I will try to get these files more organized and uh, worked out um, soon. But yeah, anyway, there's the finished product. 
And um, yeah, see, it's cute and I love it. And I want to make a whole bunch more. And like I said, everything's available if you check out my Patreon and uh, I will have the files uh, up there completely free to download without having to become a paid member uh, within the next few days. Uh, just have a lot going on. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for coming by and I will see you next time. Bye.